This is the double replacement part of the predicting product sheet. So we'll just do double replacements here. Now that requires us to look at the other side of this. So one side has your activity series, which you use for single replacements. Don't ever use this for double replacements. For We need to use our solubility table here for doubles to predict the precipitate. So we're trying to figure out what is the insoluble thing. The precipitate is the insoluble thing, the thing that will not dissolve that's made in the reaction. Okay. Now the things reacting, these are always soluble. They're always dissolved in water. So these reactions only occur in water. Water's not part of the equation, but all of these things would be dissolved in water for them to happen. So um, I'll do these two here. So silver nitrate, which is a plus one and a minus one charge, with sodium carbonate, which is a plus one and a minus two charge. So you're going to need to know all your charges for these. <coughs> I'm going to write this over here. So we got silver nitrate, AgO3, plus sodium carbonate, sodium Carbonate plus one minus two, so we need to put a two with the sodium. So they're going to react to form. We may need to slide down a little bit, get a little more space. All right, that puts our silver in the glare, so let's keep that there. Um, so again, this and this switch places. The silver and the Na switch places. So the Na comes over here with the NO3, Ag over there with the CO3. So Na with NO3, you do have to look up your charges again, but it's a plus one and a minus one, so we're good. And then the Ag goes with the CO3. Plus one, three, minus two, so we need a little two here with our Ag. Okay. Now we can go through and balance it. Sorry, you can't see this very well. We're going to need to put a two. I can't see that at all. I need to put a two in front of that Ag right there and a two in front of this to get our NAs to two. Now, we always make you identify the precipitate. So remember, these things are being used in the reaction. They're away, they're gone. We now have these two things in water. This reaction always happens in water. So usually one of these is insoluble, that's our precipitate. If they're both soluble, there's really no reaction. Maybe can we call that ain't none reaction. So we look on here, well, sodium nitrate. If you look on here, anything with sodium in it is always soluble, so that will dissolve. So that compound will, will dissolve. So this compound is going to be aqueous. It will be dissolved. Okay, it'll be dissolved in water. You won't be able to see it. Kind of like dissolving some salt in water. Silver carbonate. If you find carbonates on here, um, carbonates down here, carbonates are generally carbonates are insoluble unless they're with family one. Well, this is silver carbonate, so it is insoluble. This is your precipitate. That is going to be the solid precipitate that's formed. So that you would see that solid sitting in the solution. This you would not see, it'd be dissolved. And both of these things would have been aqueous before the reaction or dissolved in there. So there's that. Um, next one we have magnesium nitrate. Magnesium is a plus two. Nitrate's a minus one. So you're gonna have Mg and O3 with a two outside. Plus potassium is a plus one, sulfate's a minus two. So we need a two there. Again, both of these things would be aqueous, they'd be dissolved in water. That's how double replacements happen. Switch your potassium and your magnesium. So the K is gonna go with the NO3. Potassium with the NO3. And it's a plus one, minus one charge, so those are equaled out. Magnesium over here with the sulfate. And that's a plus two. And a minus two charge, so those are equaled out. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this top one. It's kind of in the way. If we balance this, we've got two of these NO3 groups, only one of this NO3 group here, so we need to double that. It gives us two Ks and two Ks, and I think everything else is equal. Now, if we identify the precipitate, so we're looking at our products that are made and figuring out which one is insoluble. Well, KNO3, anything with with K in it is always soluble. So that will not be a precipitate. It will be dissolved. So this is aqueous. Okay. This is aqueous. It will be dissolved. Sulfate, magnesium sulfate. So down here, um, sulfates, sulfates are soluble unless you have calcium sulfate, barium sulfate, strontium sulfate, mercury sulfate, lead sulfate, 
or silver sulfate. Well, we don't have any of those. So sulfates are soluble. Magnesium sulfate is soluble. It will dissolve. So both of those are aqueous. There's no precipitate. The way we say that is no reaction. You wouldn't see anything happen. This is dissolved. That's dissolved. When they mix, this is still dissolved. That's still dissolved. You don't see anything. So we call that a no reaction for those double replacements. You can try the other two that are on there.